invocation. Mr. Hona, can you lead us in the invocation, please? Father, thank you for your many and abundant blessings. Help us engage in meaningful discussions. We thank you and ask you for your guidance. <clears throat> I for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. you may be seated. <coughs> At this time, under public comments, Good evening, Mayor, Commissioners, staff, community. Um, I'd like to see maybe we can uh, uh, take it out of order the uh, the agenda. As, as I'd like to take it into executive session first, if it's okay with the uh, with the commission. Okay. The executive, executive session. session. Take it out of order. Yeah, be fine. Okay. Only the motion. Is there a motion to go into executive session? Approve. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 We're going to executive session at 6:05 p.m.
Welcome back from executive session at 6.47 p.m. Is there a motion to reconvene? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Second. It's been second. All those in favor say aye. 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 This motion has been reconvened. At this time, we're going to take no action under the executive session item. Go ahead, sir. Uh, the next item, or starting from the uh, meeting, is uh, under presentations. Uh, presentation of departmental reports. We have pretty much all departments that submitted a report as per requested. Uh, so if you have any questions, everybody's here available to answer any questions you may have. Mary, if I may. Go ahead, sir. I had a, qu a question for Parks and Rec, Mr. Guajardo. Um, I know baseball softball season's coming up. Um, I saw the age bracket. I don't know if it's changed from last year, but I saw that for the Shetland at six and under. And so the three and the four year old T-ball program that we had, is it still gonna take place or is it gonna be a mixture of six and under? Actually, uh, that division is called the Philly division, which mm -hmm. is the four year olds. Right. Okay, uh, under Pony, that's a, a division itself. Uh, we have gotten several calls in regards to that, so we are gonna entertain uh, maybe the possibility of creating the Philly division on its own. Okay. Okay. So we're going to keep the, the five and six-year-olds as Shetland, and then uh, depending on the amount of interest, we'll see if we if we uh, have the Philly. Is this something Juan is going to do or the Valley? For um, my concern is tournament play. When they go to tournaments, because they're going to they're have a mid-season tournament, I don't want the three and four-year-olds playing against a six and under team. And if nobody else is going to have a, the Philly division, and it's going to be a six and under division, the way I saw it in the age bracket, I, that's my concern. I don't want anybody to get hurt. As a understanding, uh, they do offer it. Now, not every city has a Philly division. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, definitely if, if, if it's in the best interest of these kids and their participants, I mean, we're not going to, we're not going to put them, a four-year-old into the, the, the six, the five and six-year-old division. So we'll develop it. If, if it makes, we will compete with other Philly divisions. Okay. But we will not want to bump them up as, you know, to, to, to get larger numbers. Right. We'll confirm with yes. Mr. Banda just to make sure that. Definitely, yeah. That uh, we have had some meetings uh, last week in regards to it. Boundaries, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing's really changed. Um, the age uh, date has changed. Okay. Now it's August 31st. Right. Okay. Yes, uh, I did notice So that. that has changed. But. Um, in regards to Philly, I'll look, at that, look into that piece. Por favor, just to make sure, I, I just want to be able to, yes, if our teams go out there, they're not, nobody's going to get hurt, for one, and they're going to be able to compete. Exactly. Because we don't want them to compete against older kids if right. they're three and four-year-olds okay, out there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir. <coughs> I have a question for Ms. Carmen. Uh, in reference to your daily work orders, ma'am, um, how are those assigned? Is it when they show up to work, you are to give them the work order? Uh, all employees have a certain job functions. It's oh. a, like a daily and thing. It's not, I, I'm assigning this to you. They already know their job assignment. Okay, so they just take off in the morning, the take job done. Take off in the morning, they're set to work. Okay. Is, does anybody go and, and, I guess, check and see whether the, the job was yes. done? Yes. And who does that? Myself and Juan Soto. Good. Uh, Eric Munoz will go out and, and check the alleys and, and the streets okay. also when he's not doing uh, the recycle because uh, we can't leave the recycle center. He By does itself, leave yeah. a, on a daily basis. He does do his rounds. But um, the employees know exactly what they have to do. Okay. And, and if you look at the reports monthly, yes. it's the same people. At the yeah, I saw, I saw that. Yes. Okay. That was my question. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, Carmen, uh, even when Eric goes and do his other, his other performance, uh, when he goes to check all the other alleys, do you have enough employees to there at the city at the recycling center? Or is he? Janie Maureen is uh, the one that's, we don't have that much traffic in the recycle center. Okay. Commissioner, and Janie Maureen does stay there. Okay. She's the receptionist there. That's fine. So we start. And managing on the, on the hospital building, right? Yes, and and I was gonna. That, that's something that I wanted to discuss to on, on my report. Okay. Um, have we gotten all directors on the time clock 
uh, set up? Not yet. There's a couple of them that are missing. Okay. Uh, code enfor enforcers, how are we doing on that? Or Matter of fact, on code enforcement, uh, there's there's one that we may be going out for temporary um, code enforcement that we're going to be seeking out for employment on a temporary basis, only because of the workers' compensation. How many do we have right now? We currently have one. Uh, Chief Gonzalez, I see that you got those tires on those vehicles, so I'm glad, but you know, we just got to make sure that we maintain those vehicles running, and especially the ones that are out there patrolling. Yeah, I'm representing we are. To follow up on the uh, Commissioner uh, Mayor Pro Tem Garcia's clock in question, Mr. Arjona. To follow up on his question regarding the, the clocking in. Yes. How long, what's the timeline? How long is it going to take for everybody to start clocking in? What do we say, uh, Mr. Maybe a couple of days we should be done? So next week, two weeks, uh, what, what do you think? Within the week? Thank you, sir. Now, now talking about the directors, is that Yes. Okay. Can, Rick, can you look into the legalities of that um, in reference to the uh, clocking in? Because I know that they're on salary, right, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, I know sometimes they work 50 hours a week, 40 hours a week, and 20 hours a week. So if they're clocking in, my concern is if they go over 40, well, are we entitled to pay them extra overtime? You know, so that's just something that, you know, I'm asking if you can look into. It's given the mayor on that one. I believe I had talked to Wisdom Hour Service. Mm -hmm. I believe if it's uh, a salary, they can work, I believe, up to 100, uh, they can work 66 hours in a week without getting paid overtime. Anything over 66 hours, let's say they work 66, they work 72, or well, they went six hours, those are the six hours you can go ahead and pay overtime. Um, so the, the, uh, the, what we, we have a problem is for the hourly, it's the hourly people that if you have them on like a like a bonus or type stipend, yes, that's where you get into trouble. Let's check both of them. Laws and make sure. <coughs> and, we, and if not, we'll just come back and yeah. once you come back with that information, we'll take it up for a vote. Yeah. All right. Anything else, gentlemen? Uh, Something else. Other one. And ITM, oh, are we working on those? Uh, something like I told you last time that have some monitors where we can start promoting yes, what, what's the streets that uh, we're getting done, what's coming up. Right. Yeah. We, we, we had talked to um, IT looking into the possibility of getting some monitors in, in, in different locations so that we can start promoting that, the different events and stuff, and the different events that are currently taking place or future events that are there. Especially like the streets are coming on phase two, because I know that some people are asking which are the streets going to be, right. you know. And this way they can be informed what's, yeah. what's going to come, come up on uh, I know we talked about it. Um, we look at the, uh, we're going to be looking at the possibility of getting a few monitors, and on that it will take a computer so that we can place it behind somewhere so that the monitor is the only one that is visible. And yeah, but we're, we're working on that okay. as well. Also, uh, try to see if we can... Uh, Although new subdivisions are done already, a lot of people don't know that uh, we've been already having some streets that have been done and completed. Some, a lot of people don't know that we're still following the process of finishing all the streets that were supposed to be done, maybe by sending the drone on the areas, and that way we can show them up on the screen so people can see the customers. Definitely. Yes, Cordero. I see that we had the customer service training. How did it go? Yeah. <coughs> Any other questions for the directors? If not, we're going to go ahead and if I just may real quick on the uh, on my report, I just wanted to say that uh, the long-awaited TCQ violation that we had about a year, year and a half ago, two years, uh, 
Ms. Carbon submitted that application for the uh, drop-off site and he has been awarded. And uh, we're currently, the SCP project as well, the one <coughs> that's uh, on the first time sewer connections here by railroad, gets already 100% completed. Uh, obviously we're working on the other uh, first time sewer connections, but the one on, on railroad is already being completed. Also, um, last week on, on, on Thursday we visited the uh, couple of agencies in, in Austin, uh, Mr. Salinas, myself, and uh, Hollis Rutledge. We went over visited with the uh, EDA to talk about future projects for the EDC. And we also talked to uh, TCQ, the commissioner, and the Texas Water Development Board to talk about the uh, funding for the uh, wastewater uh, treatment plant. It went very well. Um, we're hoping that uh, we can get uh, totally funded. We're hoping that there's gonna be some uh, grant monies available or forgiveness monies. But we'll, we'll look at that now. The, um, the future or the future city hall, that building that is, uh, we're, what we're calling this a one transit <coughs> terminal project uh, they're done with the, with the asbestos. They're done with pretty much everything they did to demolish today. So the building is up. Now, now the only thing that they're doing is cleaning up the, uh, the debris that is there. So hopefully within the next week or so, it'll be clear for the environmental that, that is next and then the appraisal. So we'll follow up on that. So that was my report that I wanted to share with you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Next item, is that? Uh, public hearing, yes, sir. Pu public hearing. Conduct a public hearing and consider an ordinance in the first reading for a conditional use permit for the sale of alcoholic beverages for non-promised consumption at the Pizza Hut restaurant located at 651 Virgen de San Juan Boulevard, legally described as Lot 1, Pizza Hut number 40, subdivision is requested by Muy Pizza, Texas, LLC. Mr. Cervantes. Mayor, good evening. Uh, Muy, Pet Muy Pizza, Texas, LLC is taking over the San Juan Pizza Hut restaurant that has been open since 1999. The restaurant has been selling alcoholic beverages as a complement to the food ever, ever since it opened. The now uh, owners are, current, are applying for the ABC license for the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption only. The hours of operation is Monday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Planning and Zoning Commission uh, voted for approval unanimously during their meeting of February 1st, 2018. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open this up at 6.59 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? Is there anyone here for or against? <coughs> Can you state your name for the record, sir? Rick Ramirez. Thank As you. As Mr. Cervantes mentioned, uh, taking over different ownership, right? And they have been selling alcohol previously. Now, what I want to see that this report doesn't show is what kind of system do they have as to avoid any customer becoming intoxicated or impaired while leaving the premise? What kind of system do they have? I know different uh, restaurants, they have bars only, where the customer can only drink as long as he's on the bar. So the bartender has a system to know how many drinks someone can have. Now, I want to ask him directly, what kind of system the speaks have had that they don't mention here, if you all take over. May I answer that question? Well, Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Please, uh, please. My name is Joe Cano. Thank you. I am the district manager for the uh, Pizza Hut uh, uh, from San Juan Alamo up to the Mission location. Our employees, our servers, and management are certified by TABC. Um, they get their certificate. They must be 18 years of age to be able to sell alcohol, and uh, they are certified. So um, we go through all the process before they can sell alcohol, and we monitor. Um, we make the call when the customer walks in if they're able to consume alcohol. So we're clear on that. I assure you that we do that in all our stores. What was your name? Uh, my name is Joe Con Thank you. District manager. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Con Con how, how long have you been there in business? Excuse me? How long have you been there in business? Uh, we've been there since 19, uh, uh, well, it's been uh, 18 years. 18. And I've been with Pizza Hut 29 years. Have you um, had, in those 18 years, have you had any issues? Uh, no, sir, thank you, we have not. Um, we're very, very tight on that um, area as far as serving alcohol to our customers. So when you say that you're all uh, certified and everything, is that when the customer is uh, beyond his limit or even 
at certain point you you refuse to sell alcohol. A absolutely, absolutely. When we have a customer, uh, a patron comes in, and we have um, uh, there's awareness if we see that this person is not um, in the uh, capabilities of consuming alcohol, we deny. We deny. Have you ever had a problem where a customer you re you refuse to sell him and he gets kind of a little uh, rowdy or? We've been blessed in, in my 29 years with Pizza Hut. Um, I think uh, the price itself is not to where you want to consume a lot of um, alcohol, and it's accommodated with our food and, yes. and being a, a family-oriented restaurant. Uh, we're, we're very careful with that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? If not, I'm going to go ahead and close this at 7.03 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. The next item under appointments, uh, we have a uh, consider removal and appointment to the library board. There within your packet, there's, uh, there's a listing of the uh, current members and, and the, uh, the, the ones uh, that, that expired and the ones that expired 2017 and the ones that are about to expire this month. No, no applications were submitted, Mr. Arjona? Um, there's one application that was submitted from the civil service board uh, for Mr. Arjona. Um, other than that, that one, there's no other additional ones? Mm -hmm. Were they aware that they were going to be up? It was on the, uh, did we put it on the webpage? But I'm talking about the other ones. Library, the library board. For the library, for the Keep San Juan Beautiful board, for the planning and zoning. No. No. Nothing was advertised. Me personally, I, I would rather, uh, it, it, it gives the impression that we're not being transparent if we're just appointing or it's we're uh, appointing people. So I, my recommendation would be to table the library, Keep San Juan Beautiful, and planning and zoning boards. I know the civil service has to appoint somebody because and the the amigos del valle, amigos del valle correct yeah. so we can if i guess i, I guess if you want let's just go ahead and appoint the uh amigos del valle board and the civil service board for the simple fact that the other three commissioner lenny was on that board is that correct right exactly okay okay so uh i guess i'll make a motion to appoint mr joe vasquez uh and replacing replacing uh, Lenny Sanchez. Second. All those in favor? That's you can clarify that that's for the Civil, civil service. service. Civil Service Board. It, it is, uh, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, Jose, Juan Jose Vasquez. Yeah. Just to clarify, for the record. And this is for the Civil Service Board. That's my motion. It's been seconded by uh, Mayor Pro Tem, I believe, uh, Mr. Garcia. Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> And any nominations for item B under the Amigos del Valle Board? I'd like to motion to appoint uh, Mayor Pro Tem Pete Garcia to that board. A second. It's been seconded by Commissioner Sanchez. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, so now you were. Now the beautiful creation board. Uh, you were under it? Yes. Okay. I want to be removed. Okay. N okay. Is there any. Uh, Nominations for the Beautification Board. I nominate uh, Commissioner Jesse Ramirez. Is there a second? Second. It's been second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Beautification Board, I don't have it. Right here? I, I didn't do it. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so then that leaves us the Library Board and the Planning and Zoning. Am I correct? Yes. Correct. Commissioner, and you were? A motion to table. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So we'll be tabling at this time the library board and the planning and zoning board. Is that correct? Correct. All right. <coughs> Go ahead, Mr. Hall. Following item is discussion and possible election on all of the following matters. Consider the approval of a budget amendment reflecting the fiscal year 2017-2018 grant award from the Office of the Governors. OOG Rifle Assistant Resistant Body Armor Grant Program in the amount of 33809 with 92 cents. Chief. 
Good morning, Mayor. Uh, good evening, Mayor. Thank good you. evening, Chief. It's just a grant that we had submitted and we received the funding already, so we're just doing the budget amendments briefly so we can go ahead and purchase it. Okay. Yes. So everything's pretty yes, sir. on track. And That's correct. Okay. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Chief. The next item, discussion of possible action regarding contract with Lineberger, Gogan, Blair, and Samson LLP for legal services in connection with delinquent and Valorum, Texas, and mowing lien assessment for the City of San Juan. Good evening, Commissioners. Michael Gano, the Lineberger firm. I'm just here to answer any questions you all may have for me. Good evening, sir. Okay. Um, at this time, is there any questions for Mr. Cano? What are we going to do? I don't have any right now. The only thing is that I don't have anything on my packet that uh, states other, you know. Uh, I don't have no uh, no backup or anything like that on why uh, we shall remove, remove or do anything. So, uh, if Mr. Hona, if we can get some literature for next time or what we can do so we can make sure that uh, we are making the, the proper uh, motion or the proper decision um, based on that. Uh, A motion for no uh, uh, no action at this time. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Motion carries. No action. Thank you, Mayor Commissioners. And if you all need anything from me in the next couple of weeks, I'll work with Mr. Hall to make sure we get you all the information. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Thank you. you all have a nice evening. So I guess on item C, Rick, do we still take a motion for no action? Or? Uh, you could or either, either take... Uh, there has there doesn't have to be a motion and it's automatic no, no action. action. Okay. Okay. So there doesn't have to be as long, as long as there's not a motion, it's we, a no we action. We tabled that one, so right? That we, no. We're talking about the one we just did or no that that was a motion for no action. Yeah, oh, no. So um, I was gonna kinda interject. Okay. I know that when there's a no action, you don't have to make a motion no, no. for no action. Just there is no pending motion, there'd be a no action item. However, if you wish to table, it would have to automatically come Run back, back to the, the next meeting. meeting or whatever. So that's the difference between a table and a no action. No action doesn't come back until it's ready to come back, with it, whether you need documents or anything from uh, from a director or whatever, but on a table it would have to come back no matter what the following meeting. Yeah, but... but uh, so at this time, we have item C at this time, and so this board can either decide to not to take any action or to motion to table either, either way, uh, whatever you guys wish to do. But the one that before it was no action, so... No action. No action. Then, no, then, then no action. There's no motion for item C, so no action at this time. The next item is discussion and possible election regarding the Dalgo County Elections Department request for early voting election day polling locations of the fire station number 2, 2301 North, Raul Longoria, San Juan, Texas, for the primary primary runoff and the general elections by the county. Good afternoon, Mayor and Commissioners. Um, in the past, we have allowed Hidalgo County Elections Department to use the meeting room at fire station number two for elections. This year they are requesting it for the primary, primary runoff and general election. The primary early voting will be from February 19th through March 2nd and election, will, election day will be March 6th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, I have attached the, the letter that they sent along with the dates and times. On that, you the, mentioned February 19th? That falls on what day? Um, Tuesday, but it's a uh, President's Day. It's Monday. President's Day, yeah, right? Monday. So it says a holiday. It does say. It's oh, okay, okay. That's just. That's good. That's that's what I was given. So. You're right. No, it does say holiday. Oh, on it does. The, yeah, on the memorandum that they send you, it does say holiday on the. On oh. The okay. So then we. But it's listed it's a on 20. the 19th. But yeah, actually, it was starting the 20th. Yeah, that's what I was trying to to, yes. to confirm with. Okay. No, no, no that's good. And, okay. uh, of course, staff recommends the approval for use of the facility. Okay. So is there a motion to approve? And the, uh, real oh, quick. Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. And that would include what we're approving. It's also the primary dates for the runoff and the general election for October and November, correct? All of that is included in that memorandum. <coughs> well, that's, yes, that's what they're right. requesting, that's but they only gave us the dates for no? the primary. No? That may be within the memorandum. However, right. as far as the agenda item at this time, they're asking for the request for the early voting and election day okay. polling location. It says for the primary, well, you know what? It says primary, primary runoff, and general election. That's what I'm saying. So the whole thing that's here. That would, that would, that's yes, what we're that would now. everything right now. Okay. So moved. Second. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. The next item is under contractual resolutions. Consider adoption of resolution establishing the budget for fiscal year 31, 2018 of the Hidalgo County Urban County Program. Mr. Cervantes. So this is a resolution of the proposed budget for fiscal year 31, which is a year 2018 of the Hidalgo County Urban County Program. A preliminary budget was approved by the City Commission on November 14, 2017. The budget includes 3,000 for administrative expenses, 7,500 for to Amigos del Valle, 5,000 to Casa of Hidalgo County, 5,000 to Nuestra Clinica del Valle, and 255,551 for street improvements. Two agencies that were preliminary approved for funding by the City Commission, which is a Senior Community Outreach and Boys and Girls Club of Alamo San Juan, did not qualify for urban county funds. The, two, the 255,000 to 551 for street improvements will cover the materials and ge engineering geotechnical expenses for the repaving of the streets in the high school east subdivision, all of them except the Andrew Street. Staff recommends approval. Which were the two did not qualify, sir? Senior Community Outreach okay. and uh, Boys and Girls Club of Alamo San Juan. Okay. So the funds that, were, that we were going to give those two agencies are, are going to go to street. Did street you give an explanation as to why? Not yes, a senior community outreach uh, closed, closed, closed uh, oh. apparently for good, and uh, the Boys and Girls Club is closed temporarily. The Alamo. The Alamo. It's called Alamo San Juan, but it's located in, in Alamo. <coughs> and that, that agency, that club is closed right now. I know they're hiring an executive director. So hopefully next year they'll qualify uh, for funding, but this year it does not. Any other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there second. a second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, consider, consider resolution authorizing city manager to submit and accept an application for the funding to the Office of the Governor, Homeland Security Division for the City of San Juan Law Enforcement Emergency Regional Response Team, the Alert Enhancement Project. Good evening, Mayor. I have uh, Frank Samartin from Hollis Rosier here also. They're helping us out with the grant. Um, just a quick background on it. This is a grant that we submit every year. Since uh, 2009, our uh, special response team has received uh, close to uh, $488,000 from uh, Homeland Security to operate uh, here in, in Cameron, in Hidalgo, Brooks County, and so forth. So we have 22 law enforcement agencies that are part of our, our regional team, and uh, this year we're going to submit another uh, another grant for additional grant, uh, additional equipment that, that, that uh, we're asking for. Any questions for Chief? If not, is there a motion to approve? So move. Is there a second? second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Next item is uh, consider resolution authorizing City of San Juan to submit an application for funding to the Office of the Governor Criminal Justice Division for the San Juan Police Body Camera Program. Chief. This is a grant also uh, that's uh, available for us, and again, uh, uh, they're helping us uh, draft the application, and it's for uh, to uh, acquire 40 body cameras for our police officers. We have a body camera program already in place, and this is going to fund uh, additional body cameras. Uh, we're already at a stage where some of the body cameras are getting expired, so we're looking for a, for a different type of camera that's going to allow us to, to have a better uh, uh, storage uh, uh, system in place. Chief, how often do you need to replace those cameras? Because you know how technology is yes, always. Uh, uh, it's recommended every two years. Every two so years. So we have cameras already outdated. Yeah. So we're going to, that's why we're asking for this uh, grant that's available for okay. us. And uh, trying to replace old cameras. This is a, a fully 100% funding, right? On the budget, right. uh, no, uh, this is a match. Cash so match. Yeah. Um, Hello. So this, uh, the other two grants are 100%, but for this one, there's a 20% uh, match that's required. Uh, the grants won't probably be awarded till August um, of this year, so it will probably work with the new budget that's coming up. Just, just so you guys know. Can you share your name for the record? Uh, my name is Frank San Martin. I work with Mr. Uh, Hollis Rutledge and Associates. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any other questions for uh, Mr. Chief Gonzalez? Not, is there a motion to approve? 
Moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. When it's considered resolution uh, authorizing City of San Juan to submit an application for funding to the Office of the Governor for the City of San Juan uh, in car video project. Yeah, this is car video for our units. So uh, we're asking for five in car videos to install in the, in the units, patrol units. There's 100% funding. Thank you. Any questions for Chief Gonzalez? If not, is there a motion to approve? No motion. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Mayor Commissioner. Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, consider authorizing city manager to solicit statement of qualifications for the city of San Juan transit terminal projects. Uh, what this is, Mayor Commissioners, this is, uh, as you know, the uh, the building has already been demolished for the uh, for the new project. So I'm asking if we can allow us to go out and, and seek for a project manager that will take care of this particular project. As it's going to be fairly funded, I'd like to uh, maybe go out and seek for someone that has the qualifications that will that'll meet those expectations that, that can do, I mean, that knows the, uh, the reporting, the uh, whatever needs to be done for this particular type of project because it's a federal project. So I'm asking if we can go out and procure for a, um, uh, uh, a project manager for this particular project. And what's the timeline on that, Mr. Arjona? Uh, we can go out within the next couple of weeks. Okay. And uh, I want to say maybe, what is that, Mr. Jaime, 10 days afterwards? And then bring it back, back before you all and make a uh, approval on here. On our next meeting? Well, it, it won't be on the next meeting. No? no? no. Okay. Possibly three meetings from now. Three, yeah, two to three meetings. Two. Regular meetings. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Arjona? No? If not, is there a motion to approve? No move. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The next item, consider author authorizing the city manager to solicit statement of qualifications for construction, management services, and various city of San Juan projects as assigned. As we're going to have the same um, already in, in, in a project manager, I'd like to maybe the same person, but we have to procure it differently only because one is federally funded, the other one is going to be local funded, so that maybe the same person can help us out in not only the, the, uh, the facility, the new city hall, but also any other project that may be assigned, such as maybe attending some of the meetings to the LRGBDC, to the COC, to the MPO, and give us uh, translations as to, as to what those forms mean to us. Because a lot of times we attend the meetings, but you know, in all reality, there's a lot of uh, codes that, that we may have no idea as to what they mean only to the engineer inside. So I'm asking that if, now that we're gonna procure a, a project manager for, for the facility, at the same time serve us to, to help us out with any other assigned project that we may incur here within the city. So that'll be the same, uh, I mean, if, if possible, the same PM for both uh, projects. Is there any questions for Mr. Arjona? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The next item is on the consent agenda. We have the approval of meeting minutes. We, we got them all there. Know that the, uh, the commission can pull any item to be discussed further to make an adequate decision or vote them all at the same time. So is there any uh, on consent agenda, anything that needs to be pulled out or amend? If not, is there a motion to approve? No move. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, that, that's it. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Is there a motion. No is there a second? A second. <laughs> okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 This meeting has been adjourned at 721 p.m. Thank you.